What happens when an NFL franchise has to declare for bankruptcy only two months before the season begins? Which forced the franchise to relocate across season having all current players opt out of their contracts and having even below average NFL players reject contracts. Your only option is to go out and sign a bunch of players that no other NFL team will want anything to do with. Welcome to the Rejects Madden 19 Franchise Series. Week number three, we return home to take on our divisional foe, the Indianapolis Colts. Keep in mind, a lot of you forget we are in the AFC South. Not really sure how on a geographic standpoint the Dublin Shamrocks make their way in the AFC South, but as I've learned to do in my life, I just don't ask questions. We, of course, are 0-2 on the year last week, losing to the Saints 17-6. Defenses played great for us, but our offense... I mean, it's been pretty lackluster, as you see, averaging six points per game. And the Colts have split the first two games of the season last week, losing to the freaking Bills by 10. So since they lost to the Bills, at least there's somewhat of hope. But keep in mind, we're the freaking rejects, so highly doubt we win this game. But at the bare minimum, at least we're going to go out and give it our absolute best. Well, I'll really quick... Cheeky little plug, last year during the month of December, I basically did a giveaway every single day leading up to Christmas, and I'm thinking about doing that again this year. I gave away like over $1,000 worth of stuff last year, but my biggest giveaway is going to be over on Instagram, so if you want to be a part of that, go follow my Instagram. There will be a link in the description box below. And as an added bonus for you guys, if somehow we can get to 15,000 followers, which probably not going to happen, but if it does happen, I'll double upload this series over the weekend, which would mean I'll probably have to stay up for like 50 straight hours. But back into what you guys care about, Nate Robinson was the player we did try out last episode. Yes, the former NBA player, and barely, just barely, the fans have voted, and he does make the Dublin Shamrocks roster. Now, of course, that means we have to cut a player, and as you guys said, which makes a lot of sense because, I mean, we have one, two, three, four, seven cornerbacks doesn't necessarily need to be the case so we are gonna cut our lowest overall cornerback that's not Nate Robinson and since Akeem King is a little bit younger than Teddy Williams we'll go ahead and cut Teddy Williams and once again guys you know if you get cut from the rejects you're cut from the shamrocks it must mean you're pretty freaking useless for Teddy and also I'm really confused because as you guys know every single player on our team is in the first year of a three-year contract and for some reason, all of these players are eventually going to have to renegotiate their contract throughout the season. And we can already, like, start negotiating with Roberto Aguayo. But it doesn't make any sense because they're all on three-year deals and have two years left. So, I don't know if this is a glitch or not. But if it is a glitch, we'll keep the players on the team regardless. I'll figure out a way. <laughs> Why am I just now seeing his face? He does not look happy. I wouldn't be happy either if my name was freaking Daryl. Also, last episode, there was a vote for who we should name the offensive and defensive captains. And I can reveal your offensive captain, and it doesn't surprise me at all, is going to be none other than Dalton Crisson. Has been a leader on this team, the surprise of the series thus far, and he is going to be your Dublin Shamrocks offensive captain. And moving on to defense. And I gotta say, this one surprised me, and it was so close. Easily the closest poll we've had for this series thus far, but your Dublin Shamrocks defensive captain is gonna be D Virgin. He's already the freaking captain, so a little bit less work I gotta do. And also this week, it is time to begin scouting college players. We did not get to pick anybody the past draft, but for the 2020 draft, we are gonna have all of our selections, and it's time to begin scouting, and of course, we're going to have to try and get a quarterback because our quarterback position as of right now is absolute shambles with Jamarcus Russell. We're going to have a lot of options. Jake Fromm, Tua Tagoviola, and Jacob Eason. Jake Fromm looks pretty decent. He looks like an early first rounder in Tua. That's who I have my eye on. Has A plus throw power, A minus throw accuracy short, and B plus throw on the run. And Jacob, we're going to get one of these guys with our first uh, selection. Jacob Eason also an early first rounder so it's gonna be between these three guys I'm really liking that A plus throw power from Tua also we can use some offensive line help Walker Little and Tommy Kramer we did scout both look like pretty good left tackles and also scouted this guy Chase Lucas doesn't look too good gonna be a late third rounder when he was projected to be an early first D zone coverage which means he probably fit in perfect here how the heck do we drop overall again 
The last two episodes, we've gone from 57 to 56, now to 55. How does that even freaking happen? But it is time to sign a player to an NFL tryout contract to try out for your Dublin Shamrocks. And the most suggestive player probably in the whole entire series up to this point, I searched through the comments and there was over 300 comments, 300 separate comments suggesting this guy. And finally, he gets his shot overseas in Dublin. We're bringing him back to the spotlight that is none other. How did this guy, Sean Wilson, get on our practice squad? Okay, that's not who we're signing, but the man, the myth, the legend, Peyton Hillis, the former Madden cover star, the forgotten cover star, has been signed to the Dublin Shamrocks. And just like everybody else, he's on that one game NFL tryout contract with a team option for us to extend it to a three year deal. The running back who could also play fullback and probably a couple other positions comes in at a 65 overall. Definitely more of a power back with only 82 speed, 79 excel and 79 agility, but does have 74 break tackle, which is pretty good for a running back, 84 carrying, 84 ball carrier vision, 85 trucking, 76 stiff arm, and 82 strength. But yes, Peyton Hillis, the former Madden cover star, was on the cover of Madden 12 and basically is the epitome of the Madden curse because after he was on the Madden 12 cover, you basically never heard from him for the rest of existence up until now. And that's because the Dublin Shamrocks are giving him another chance. But the big 6'2", 250-pound running back slash fullback hails out of the University of Arkansas at a 7th round pick of the Denver Broncos in 2008. Definitely had a good rookie season for a 7th round draft pick standard with the Broncos. Didn't play much in 2009, and that's when he was traded to the Cleveland Browns, where he had the best time of his career, which led to him being on the Madden 12 cover. But after that went to the Chiefs, did absolutely nothing, to the Buccaneers once again, did absolutely nothing, to the Giants once again, did absolutely nothing, ultimately leading to his retirement in 2015, but three years later, here we are, Peyton Hillis, a member of the NFL's brand new team, the Dublin Shamrocks, Dublin, Ireland, where everybody gets a second chance. But Peyton Hillis is going to be our number two running back in today's game. Definitely have to look out for him and see if he does enough to make the team. He also is going to be listed as the number one power back in today's episode. So he will definitely get some touches in today's gameplay. But enough said, guys. I cannot believe we've gone down to a 55 overall. How have we actually managed to get worse? That's beyond me. But it's time. Returning to Cloverfield in Dublin. The Indianapolis Colts players feeling a little bit of jet lag. That's our only chance. A team coming off a loss with all freaking Bills with jet lag. This might be our best chance of the season to actually get a win. Oh, here we freaking go. Here we go. Happy now. Got my freaking face cam. Oh, here we go. The boys. The boys from Dublin finally returning home against the Colts. Can we actually get it done? I'm just so glad they finally show our freaking logo to a random helmet. But here we go, Cloverfield, where dreams are made true. Your Shamrocks versus the Colts. Still don't understand how Indianapolis and Dublin, like two completely sides of the world, are in the same division. But it is a divisional game. Got to take it serious. Got to try and actually get our first win in franchise history. Can you not cut grass? Can you just not? We're trying to play with the Shamrocks. I'm trying to get work done here. This episode's already an absolute shambles. The face cam finally appears in the series, and immediately somebody starts cutting their freaking grass. It's a sign. Oh, Jamarcus Russell. Under 50% completion percentage on the season. Got to do better than that in this game. So if you hear that lawnmower in the background, just think of it as a Colts fan at Cloverfield trying to create some crowd noise to disrupt this beautiful offense. Peyton Hillis, Laquan McCowan in the backfield. Dude, that's like 800 pounds of meat coming at you. Anyways, first and 10. McCowan, where did, why did he go that way? Not the greatest of starts. I throw the ball this time. Second down and 11. Oh, the underneath route. That's Max McCaffrey. Picks up a nice six yards. Third down and five, short, quick passes for a first down, hopefully. Just wait a second. X. Oh my god, dude. If we could have just waited a split second longer for that route to develop. Because there's nobody to throw it to until that one moment. Oh my, I'm upset. Guys, I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling it. The luck of the Irish 
fourth and 11. I don't know why I'm doing this, but Pat McAfee, please. Please complete the... Pat McAfee, Jesus. Seriously, all that did was just save us time, because it's just inevitable that they were going to get inside, like, the 30-yard line, so basically we just saved time. Play action pass here from Andrew Luck. Come on, defense. A wide open man in the flat, Eric Ebron. We missed a tackle, but thank God there's a competent guy there in Frank Zombo. Three tight ends out to the right. Run up weak side. We're right there. Daquan Bowers with the tackle. Third down and short. Marlon Mack in the backfield. Andrew Luck in the shotgun. Can we force the Colts to a field goal? We're going to be all over that. Vernon Golston. Uh, I think he actually got it. I think we pushed him forward for the first down. Oh, thank God for the inches. So far, no luck for Peyton Hillis, but we're going to keep trying. Second and ten. A little bit of a hole. Can't hit the hole. Not fast enough. Well, here we are. Third down and eight. A wide open man. That's going to be Chad Johnson with the catch. He gets a big first down to the 47. Second and 11. And throw the football again. We have open space. That's a Max McCaffrey with the catch. First down. Second and 10. No mistakes here. No mistakes. Oh, I think I had the post. I genuinely think if I waited a split second longer, we had the post for like a big 20-yard gain. We got a couple yards. Oh, boys, here we go. Third and four. Need a big play. Short, quick passes, as I always say. Let's not get sacked. Let's not go back. Let's just be small with the football. Justin Blackman. Oh, my God, Jamarcus Russell. That has got to be the worst play of the series up to this point. The worst play of the season. I am absolutely in shock. Never have I been in such shock ever before. We have not had that one play, that one play in the series that was like, that this team is awful. They shouldn't even be able to play badminton in a senior citizen club. But look at this, a wide open man, a wide open man for a first down in Jesus. <laughs> 10-0. We're outscored. I'm actually so upset. I thought we had a chance to take a lead. To take a freaking lead. Do I have to say, though, man, those are the kind of bad throws that get me thinking we might need to think about somebody else. But we're going to ride with them for now. Another bad throw like that in this game, though. We might put freaking McCowan at quarterback instead of Jamarcus Russell because we'd probably do better with him. But second and 10 here. Oh, give me a second. Dude, we can't. We got to stop running the slants because with the way they're covering them, we have to wait for him to develop, and we, we can't wait for him to develop because we're the rejects. Third down and 14. Not looking good. Just not looking good at all. Let's see if somehow get somebody to get open here. Just going to throw the ball down the field. That I mean, that's I mean, they can't even pick it off. They don't even have a chance to pick it off. It was overthrown so bad. Second and 13. See if our defense can get us back in this ball game. Listen, Andrew Luck, quick pass here to Davis, the running back. Huge tackle there from Prince Charles. Because if he doesn't make that tackle in space, that's a lot of yards. Third and 12. We were all for one third downs last game. See if we can do better this time around. We got to knock the ball loose and we do big play there, number 31. That's fish. The fish's missing. I might just need to stop trying to run the ball because all it does is just nothing. It does absolutely nothing. Just a waste of a damn. We, we cannot run the ball this game for some reason. Second and 10. Oh, the quick. Jamarcus Russell's got to be cut. That is the worst thing I've ever seen in my existence. I mean, in all honesty, the underneath route, the little check down, it was covered, but never is that supposed to warrant a 15 yard overthrow. Second and 13. Can we get some sort of turnover? No, we cannot. Second and nine at the 35 yard line. You guys might be asking, RBT, why do you blitz so much? It's, it's our only chance to do anything. I mean, that, then that kind of stuff happens. It makes me look bad. But if we don't blitz, they sit back and in the pocket, complete passes, so it's a lose-lose for me regardless. Need a huge play, second and three. They score a touchdown, we might as well quit. Hayes Poyer, get the, f come on, pick it up. You moron. You moronic moron. I mean, let's stay at least a little bit positive. I mean, a big play there, big sack from Hayes Poyer. But Frank, the ball is right there, Frank. All you have to do is attempt to pick it up and not kick it with your foot. Oh, boys, third down. And 13. Just hold him to a field goal. Hold him to a field goal. This team. State of this freaking team. So I know, as the man holding the controller, I definitely can and do make my own share of mistakes. But this is by far the worst this team has played. It's not even debatable. Not even debatable touchdown. 
touchdown. Had the chance to get off the field about 103 times in that drive. 17 nothing. Uh, we haven't even scored this many points the whole entire season. How are you supposed to come back and score this many points in one half? Now this is my stance on the current state of things. If Jamarcus Russell doesn't put up points before the half, we have 47 seconds. Somebody else is coming out to start the second half. Because seriously, what do we have to lose? Nothing at all. So first down and 10 here. Tim Tebow, he, I mean, he even overthrew that. But it still at least was completed. Having to go hurry up. Which could have very well be a mistake with this freaking bunch. Oh my. Oh, that case. Okay. See, that one, that one was on me. That one was on me. Had a little bit of... How do we not tackle him? Okay, so the pick was on me with the fact that my freaking players, my god dang players, can't just make a simple tackle. My players with these chances, look, three guys, three guys have a genuine chance to make a tackle, and they don't. Basically, actually, four. Four. He dives to the left of him. He dives and his arm goes through him. I said if Jamarcus Russell doesn't put up points before the half, he won't come out in the second half. But, I mean, we, points got put up. Just necessarily weren't for our team. Ah, this is an absolute travesty. <laughs> an absolute freaking travesty. Just can't take it anymore. Jamarcus Russell is coming out. Going to put in Johnny Manziel. Oh, what a half. What a half of football. Oh, I'm so demoralized. Frank Zombo with the sack. Thank God. That's why I try to blitz every time. Because if we drop back in coverage, I mean, we're gonna he's going to complete the pass regardless. Third down and 22. If they somehow pick this up, they're going to get in field goal range. And there, it's going to be a 27-0 game. Can we score four touchdowns in the last quarter and a half of this game to come back and win? No, we're not. Oh, my. Oh, my. This could be it. Chad Johnson with the catch. First down and 10 here. Down the field. That's going to be Justin Blackman with the catch. We get into the end zone. That's a lot of celebration for a team that's still down by three possessions. But, man, but freaking man, that's our first touchdown of the season. And, guys, if you want me to be completely honest, I pressed the wrong button there. I pressed the wrong freaking button. But, guys, like I've said, in this life that we live, I've learned it's best just not to ask questions. Justin Blackman scores the first touchdown in Dublin Shamrock history pass from Johnny Manziel. Still down by 20 points, but it looks a lot better than another shutout. Third down and six into the fourth quarter. We gotta get this stop. It's just not even debatable. They're running the football. Please, please, somebody. We made the stop. We get the stop. We get the ball back. We've got to score super quick. Oh, Johnny Manziel, we need some magic. First down and 10 here. Justin Blackman's going to have the middle of the field open. He makes the catch, the post round OP. We've got to hurry up. Johnny Manziel, 6 of 7, 138 yards. I mean, by God, that's, that's something crazy. That's crazy for this series, that is. First and 10 here. Oh, no mistakes. B. That was an absolute dot, but Armonte Edwards... That is why you're not a starter. That ball literally hit him in his helmet. Third down and 10, boys. I'm a little nervous. Not going to lie. Justin Blackman, though, on the quick slant. First down. Justin Blackman having a huge game. Need a big one, boys. Third down and 11. Monty Edwards, please. He's going to make the catch. He's going to get into the end zone. He makes up for the, the stupid drop earlier. But our Monty Edwards touchdown. We convert. It is now... A two touchdown ball game with five minutes to go. I don't want to work myself up, but I'm just happy. I'm so happy. Possibly the biggest play of the season thus far. Third down and four. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I think I've blitzed every play the last three defensive drives, but it's the only thing that works for us. We've got to try to get to the quarterback. Andrew Luck. Oh, you better make this sack. Frank Zombo, the zombie man, gets the sack. Or his second sack of the game. 4th and 15, guys, I, this is crazy, this is absolutely crazy, we, they, they cannot punt the ball at all, so, this is gonna be bad, we are, oh my, oh, <laughs> there's some crazy stuff going on in this game, 3rd down and 5, guys, I want this so freaking bad, let's make up for that last bad throw, Johnny, 3rd and 5, come on now, come on, come on, 
Oh, the underneath. Max McCaffrey, the luckiest play in history. No. He is. Why is the stamina so bad? Why was. Oh, I'm happy but sad at the same time because of the potential possibilities there. But I'm a happy boy because that easily could have been an interception. I saw I was about to get sacked, so I just pressed the freaking button. First down and 10 here. No mistakes, boys. Ray Rice. Please. Please get there. Ray Rice, get there. He's so close. He is so close. I've never in my life seen such a long yard. Peyton Hillis has done literally nothing this game. I think he has six carries for one yard. But it'll all be made up if you get to the end zone right here. Peyton Hill Oh, we lose about seven. Oh, then. <laughs> oh, dear God. If we make it this close and don't score, I'm going to be so sad. Third and goal. Come on, boys. Miracles are needed bad. Miracles are needed bad. Johnny Manziel, get into the end zone, my... Oh my, we're not going to do it, are we? Fourth down and goal from the five. I'm shook and I don't know what I'm doing anymore. This is Madden in HL. Oh, we need a miracle. Need a miracle. Nobody's open. Nobody's open, Johnny. Johnny Mandel, please. Johnny Mandel, into the end zone, boys. We are this close. We are this close. To, 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 I don't even know what to call this. The potential most miraculous comeback in the history of all mankind. We are now six points away. A minute and 22 seconds left to go. Shamrocks. Need the luck of the Irish for one more drive. Can we make it happen? This, if this comeback can be completed, it might be the peak of my YouTube existence. First and ten, my friends. You guys know what we're doing. Bring the whole entire house. Marlon Davis going nowhere. We're going for the strip. Two more plays is all we need. Been so good against the run all game long. We're there again. We're going to call the timeout. It all comes down to this. God, I've never been so nervous. Oh, third and 12. Bringing pressure again. This is what we do best. They're running the ball right in the middle. We got to stop. We got to stop. Boys, if I actually make this happen, and then not me, it's the team. It's the Shamrocks, the luck of the Irish. If we can make this happen, it's genuinely the peak of my team. I don't understand. I don't understand this. Can nobody touch it? What, what is going on? Spectacular field position. Guys, all we have to do is score one more touchdown. One more freaking touchdown. Can we do it? Oh my god. Chad Johnson, go! Chad Johnson, big play! 54 seconds. We need 30 yards. This, this is insanity. Absolute insanity. No mistakes here, my friends. I'm going to throw a pick six. This is going to happen. Ray Rice, quick little passes. Ray Rice, get out of bounds. Reset. Let's breathe. We have the time. Let's make sure we pick up this first down. Crossers. He's open. Justin Blackman. We're nine yards away. Nine. Nine. Not ten. Nine. Well, we gotta, we gotta be kind of fast here, though. Bring Justin Blackman again on a slant. Justin, please. Johnny. Johnny. Why? At this moment in time, why? Slant once again from Justin. Oh, I probably should have done it. Johnny Manziel's gonna scramble. He's gonna get sacked. We have 15 seconds, 10 yards to go. We've gotta hurry to this line of scrimmage. I don't know what play to call. I, I'm gonna screw this up. I'm gonna screw this up. Hurry. Let's try to get two plays off of the game. We're not gonna be able to. Three. Can you say hut? Did we seriously do all that? We seriously did all that to get down at the one yard line.